Hey guys and welcome back to another episode of the basics of nodes and Unreal Engine. So it's been quite a while since the last episode, I've been very busy doing different things, but I do want to make a comeback and a return with this, and I think now's the best opportunity since obviously I'm away right now, so I'll just batch record a load of these to upload them. And obviously Unreal Engine 5 has now also been released, or at least the early access of it, so I'm going to rename this just to in Unreal Engine, not Unreal Engine 4, because the nodes are the exact same, so this will still work in Unreal Engine 4 and 5. But today we're going to be going over the Blend Poses by Ball node, how it works and how we can use it in your games. So Blend Poses by Ball will do what it sounds, it will blend two poses by one Boolean value. So it will blend between two different states on a Boolean value, and these two different states are going to be animations inside of our animation blueprint. Now there are different versions of Blend Poses too, so you have Blend Poses by Pool, Int, Enum, all these different ones, and they all work pretty much the same on the same premise anyway, these two different states will blend by the value which you are inputting. For example, if you want to change the player animation for when they are walking and walking with a gun, we can do that very easily. So here I have my animation blueprint and my state machine, and this here is my state for walking and running and idle. This is my blend space for moving about. So inside here, currently it's just a normal walking blend space, but I'm going to disconnect that by holding down Alt and left clicking on it. And in the result, I'm going to get a blend poses by ball like so. And then I'm going to right click on the active value and promote it to a variable. And then you can see this is creating a boolean value, which is the bool. And I'm going to name this gun equipped question mark like so. So we're going to change these values based on the boolean value of gun equipped. So if that's true, then obviously we do have a gun, so we want to move around with our gun blend space. If it's false, we just want to walk normally. So false is going to be our normal third person idle run blend space there and my true pose is going to be my gun blend space which I already have created. I'll just connect the speed in there. So as you can see we have the blend poses by ball, the active value is our gun equipped, so if that boolean is true it's going to be using this gun blend space, if that boolean is false it's going to be using the normal blend space. And you can see here as well we can change the blend times, so we can make sure it takes 0.5 seconds to blend between them, or you can leave it as 0.1 or even 0 so it just snaps. I'm going to leave it as 0.1 as for this that's fine, I don't really need anything else, maybe put it up to 0.3, but we obviously change these to make sure it works good for you, so it looks great for what you want. But obviously we can't just leave it as that, because we need to actually be setting this boolean value here. So I'm going to go to my event graph in the animation blueprint, and I already have some of this set up already. So I have my character reference and my gun equipped boolean, which I'll look at in a second, and what we're going to do is just set this boolean the same way we normally would for our animation blueprint. So I'm going to just set gun equipped there, connecting in to the boolean value which I'm setting in my character blueprint, which again I'll get to in a minute. But again, this is just the same normal way we would be doing this for an animation blueprint. So I do have a more in-depth video on creating and setting up animation blueprints if you'd like to go see that. So I'm going to compile, save, go to my character blueprint, and you can see very simply, pressing 1 is going to equip and unequip my gun by simply setting this boolean to true or false. So when it's true and false, it's going to also be represented here because that will also be setting to true and false, which is what we're using here to change these animations. So we can hit play and test this out. You see we're walking around with our normal blend space. We press 1, our gun is now equipped because the boolean is true. We press 1 again, it's now unequipped. So as you can see, we are blending between these animations here. And because I set it to take 0.3 seconds, it is blending between them nicely like so. And this looks great. It works. It is changing the animations dependent on a boolean value. So again, a blend poses by ball node will smoothly change and blend between two different animations based on a different value. In this case, it's a boolean value. So true and false for this boolean will play two different animations, which again, you saw in the example that I've just showed you, and that's a great way of doing it. I've used that many, many times. Or if you're falling, so previously I did a gliding tutorial, if that's out by the time this has gone up, in which when we're falling, it's either gonna play the normal falling animations, or if we have a glider active, it's gonna play gliding animations. So it's a great way to quickly and efficiently set up different animations because you don't need to set up multiple states, you can have it all in one. So you don't need a state for walking and a state for walking with gun, you can have just walking state and blend between the two different blend spaces or animations inside of that one state. But I think that'll be it for this video, it's a nice, quick and simple one on explaining what a blend poses by ball is, and again this works for all of the different blend poses that we have, it's all the same premise. So I hope you understand it a little bit more now. If you don't, obviously let me know in the comments down below and I can obviously give you more examples or help explain it a little bit further. And also while you're down in the comments, you can request any further notes which you'd like me to explain in the future. 
But thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful. And if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.